Hi, I'm Alec Martinez with Home and Rehab, and today we're going to start the first in a series of videos about stroke. So both stroke, which is known as a CVA, or mini strokes, which are known as TIAs, are injuries to the nervous tissue that can be caused either by a blockage of a blood supply or a hemorrhage along the normal blood supply to different neurons of our brain. The brain contains literally billions of neurons, which make possible connections, and each is divided into different areas that control different aspects of our lives. This isn't even taking into account the other nerves that travel along our spinal cord and into the periphery of our body. So some areas process different things like input, what sounds we hear or how we hear them, tastes, touch, sensations like balance. Other areas affect what we output, how we speak, how we move our hands, whether it's in small ways or even large grasping. And which area was affected by which blood vessel and how long the area was affected can have a large impact on what happens after a stroke. For example, somebody who has a small area affected in one part of the brain may have only some issues with certain movements of the fingers, while other people affected by a larger area may have issues along an entire side of their body. Now, the duration of these symptoms can be largely affected by how long it was before you received treatment from the onset of a stroke until when you're finally able to resolve the issue. So today we're gonna to talk about one of the most important parts of stroke management, which is trying to prevent that delay in timing. Being able to access emergency medical services early can really help your recovery if you were to ever have a stroke or if someone you love ever has a stroke. So things to keep an eye out for are things like sudden numbness or weakness along the face, arm, or leg, or all three of these areas. And be especially wary if this is on one side of the body. You might also want to look out for things like sudden confusion, difficulty speaking or understanding speech, trouble seeing out of one or both eyes, trouble with coordinated activities like handwriting, eating, or walking. And even unexpected headaches with a severity that's relatively high could be a signal of a stroke. And one of the most important things to do if you're unsure is call emergency medical and ask. Again, there are a lot of different interventions that we can take if we do suspect a stroke to make sure that you don't have a very long-term output or that if any damage is done, you don't have to see me for very long. However, in the future, what we're going to talk about is if you do have symptoms, what you can do about them. How some of the different areas that were affected, whether it is sensation loss or your output loss, can be brought back to a more normal level. So, look forward to that series of videos and we'll see you very soon.